Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at edit mode and how you can select more than one face or edge or vertice and just what the overall effect looks like. This is something you're going to do all the time when you're in edit mode. So let me right click the cube. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. Here I'm going to select edges and let me grab two edges. Now I've got the first one, but of course when I select the second, it switches. So to grab two, hold the shift key. Right click and now I've got both of them. So that's the shift key to add on extra selections. Now while I select those, you'll see now they both move together. And if I do something like a scale in the Y direction, they both shrink in the Y direction together. Okay, so that's not too bad. One reason you might want to grab two things at once. Okay, I'll hit tab to leave that mode. Okay, and we'll leave the cube behind, move on to the cylinder for the next example. So, right click the cylinder, tab to go into edit mode. Let's say I want to pull a couple of these faces out. I'll go to face mode here. I'll right click face, hold the shift key down, grab a couple of the faces, pull them out, and you'll see they all come out together. Let's say I just want a couple of the edges. This one, shift that one. Pull them up. So you'll see how this sort of works. And that's just the shift key, right? That lets you do that. Let's go out of edit mode here. Okay, and there's my object. Now the last example is going to show you a couple extra uh, ways we can select. When you have an object that has a lot of faces, and we're going to be showing you how to make a lot of faces into your basic objects, you're going to want slightly different ways to select. So now that you know that you can always, let's say, do face select, and let's say you can select that face, that face, that face, that face, just quickly, we know that you can pull them or push them all together at once. Okay, that works. But let's say I escape that. Let's say you want the whole ring of sides to do something weird. Well, when you've got one of these selected, there's something called like a loop select. And what you can do is you can hold the Alt key down and you can go a little bit to the right with the Alt key down and then right click. And you'll see what it does. It goes all the way around and it basically grabs the whole loop. And then if I wanted to take those and lift them up, right, you can see the effects can be pretty cool if you sort of think and can problem solve exactly how you want to do it, right? You get some neat effects. Let's say I want to do the same idea here with just the edges. So I can grab an edge and I hold the Alt key down and go to the next edge over and right click. Now I've just got that one. Maybe I decide to do a scale, S. And now all those edges the whole way around get scaled in. So you can see your basic sphere can turn into neat little shapes. Keep in mind later on, we're going to learn how to cut things, right? So you could take part of this. So it's a very powerful little thing you can do here with your cuts. You can even do it going up and down. So if I click that, hold the Alt key, go up, it'll grab everything going up, provided there's you know, a place to sort of continue going along your shape. Not bad. So that was sort of the basics of selecting multiple things. You can use the Shift key, or you can also use the Alt key you know, to grab these loop selects. That's the basics of this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you a circle and border select, which is also really powerful.